morning you guys happy november 1st it is the start to a new month so happy clean slate i guess i can't believe it's already november i'm gonna have to take down my fall decorations and start decorating for christmas let me know when you guys want to start seeing christmas content if you want to start seeing it now in the middle of november the end of november like i don't know when people start watching i personally start watching like now when it hits november because i'm obsessed with christmas but i don't know what other people want so let me know down below in the comments and i'm definitely not going to do vlogmas because that's just like too much for me to upload every single day but what i'll do is i'll film every single day and then i'll just kind of upload them like once a week or twice a week maybe twice a week i'll do but let me know if you'll watch if i upload twice a week because i just want some feedback but anyways i was not gonna wake up this morning because last night was halloween and madison and connor were over and we kind of stayed up watching the new sam and colby conjuring series i wasn't even up till late i was up till 10 30 but like i usually go to bed at 9 30 so i got like just a little under seven hours of sleep because it was past 10 30 which is very rare for me because i usually need my beauty rest and i need to get eight hours of sleep but i kind of forced myself like i was debating i woke up in the middle of the night and i was like this close to canceling my workout class because i was like oh my god i'm so exhausted but i'm like no Michaela persevere like it's just an hour you got this like once you do it you're gonna feel so good about yourself and you'll be able to take a nap so i might take a little short nap later just because i did get under seven hours of sleep which my body can't function on that well so but i did still persevere and have discipline because there's going to be days where you really don't want to work out because it's raining and gloomy and you're tired but those are the days where you just really have to push yourself and be like okay like i just have to do this like let's just go through the motions and as soon as you know it it'll be over and then you'll be very very happy you did it so that's like one of those days it is a power core class today so i'm excited i love power core i've never worked on like strengthening my core in the past so i love having like a you know instructor like tell me what to do and the oxygen yoga and fitness classes have been so good for me also to detox my body because they're infrared so they're heated so you just sweat a lot and that is real good detoxification anyways i will see you guys after my workout i'm gonna go work out i'm still so tired but we're persevering and happy november first work workout of november uh, the morality can wait feedback on low latency i'm glitching from the face as my thoughts grow sickly i'm running out of space ask when you she okay never mind a honey cake why you lying on benjamin he turning in his grave i'd be lying if i said i wouldn't get a shit away the aloof buddha i'm christ for the shooter praise to muhammad i might nigga lose you ap michael friedman my friend's cooler primary so the resale face stupid i would never love my life on a computer idea get you life for it kabooya more power to you love them from a distance why you always in the mirror more than the bitches and my cousin tried to sue me like he got the privilege but i guys i'm just getting ready for the day now madison my younger sister she's on her way right now and we're gonna go out kind of do a little bit of shopping today together just to hang out and i also want to go thrifting or something so i don't know exactly what we're gonna do today but we're probably gonna hit up the mall and then maybe the thrift store i don't really know what's the plan she's gonna come here and then we're just gonna kind of play it by ear but it's raining today it's kind of like an icky day but that is usually what november is like here it's just basically raining every single day and so we're trying to romanticize that we're gonna get kind of cute today and go on a little fun date with madison i've been seeing on like the east coast of canada it's been snowing already i feel like the weather was warm like it was fall warm weather and then all of a sudden like just out of the blue like there was no like in between season it just all of a sudden went from being kind of like warm to 
zero degrees and like freezing in the morning when i go to my workouts and stuff i'm like shivering because it's so cold and the weather has just like dropped drastically like i don't know if this is like global warming but it's so weird i feel like it's never gone so cold so quick here it's like hitting zero degrees and it's been snowing in like places i usually wouldn't snow in at this time of year so it's just so weird i don't even know what to say about that like it's just crazy but when the weather is icky you gotta do things to kind of like still make yourself get out of the house like especially if you work from home I find like I can stay in my house in hibernation mode all week and it wouldn't really make that big of a difference for me Except for like obviously I need to get groceries and stuff But like I kind of have to make make a point of making plans and stuff to get myself out of the house Or I'm never gonna get out of the house and I'm just gonna be in here and it's gonna be raining and I'm gonna get sad So I'm really trying to make an effort to like do things, you know Also, I think I'm gonna set up my Christmas tree next week. So for next week's vlog <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that and like go Christmas decor shopping. You guys might think it's like super early, but I just love to extend Christmas. But I really do love cozy days in, especially for like these Christmas months. There's nothing better than being at home with the Christmas tree on. And Christmas is just such a cozy time of year and I love it. I'm just applying a little bit of brown mascara today. Brown mascara is just elite because it's so much less harsh. Essence lip liner as always. This is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I have the Charlotte Tilbury one and the Essence lip liner in the shade Charming. And also My Choice is a good shade too. They're honestly, they're the same. They both last the same amount of time. Like, I don't even find a difference. Like, I wouldn't be able to tell if you put, like, one on me and then the other one on me. And I didn't know. I wouldn't be able to tell because they're literally the same. And this one's only $3 versus the Charlotte Tilbury one, which is, like, 30 I'm just applying the Essence Cranberry Lip Oil. Let me know what you guys did this halloween i didn't do anything i wanted to stay home on tuesday which was halloween to just like hand out candy to the kids since i have a responsibility now since i live in a house so we stayed home and did that and then we had madison and connor over so we just kind of had a chill night with them and yeah i would just want to stay home to do the candy i don't really have like a big group of friends at all or many friends in general so my halloweens are not very extravagant like i i haven't dressed up like last year i actually did go to the club with talia and i dressed up but years prior to that like i never go out last year was like a blue moon yeah i mean if i had the opportunity to put together like a really cute costume i would but i don't know i just don't and i don't really care honestly like i also like you know observing from my house all the costumes but i feel like everybody was just so low-key with halloween this year even like the celebrities i feel like it just wasn't as big of a thing as it normally is it was just kind of chill vibes this year which i like but yeah i never really do anything honestly for halloween so anyways madison's gonna be here and literally like couple minutes so i'm gonna get changed hey guys so we just got to the mall we're gonna do some shopping i just want to find just like a couple specific things and oh <laughs> madison picked us up some tim hortons double double with oat milk i'm not supposed to be having oat milk but this is our go-to crack order just get it just get a medium double double with oat milk and you'll see what i mean it's so probably bad even for the you. regular one i get the regular i don't get oat milk but it literally hits different like it's, it's so different. good i'm surprised you don't have the holiday cups yet this tim hortons for some reason reminds me of christmas i guess maybe because it's red but whenever i get like a coffee from them i just think of christmas anyways yeah so we're just gonna hop in the mall now and we also want to go shopping at winners and home sense just to see their holiday decor yeah i'm not gonna actually go like holiday decor shopping yet but maybe if i can find like a cute mug or something I'll we get have to it. go across the border for that oh yeah we want to go to target because we have no target here in canada so and trader joe's and trader joe's yeah that's like about an hour drive for us across the border and once we get to like bellingham they yeah. have like target and Ulta in like the mm -hmm. mall there. So we're definitely gonna make a trip over. We did that last year for my vlog. Was it Christmas? Oh, it was It was Christmas because yeah, we bought the Christmas pajamas. I wanted to go for fall, but that never happened. Yeah, we were gonna go for fall and then kind of fell through. It's okay, Christmas is more important. So. Yeah, and we could get like matching pajamas mm -hmm. at Target. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we did go for Christmas. Anyways, so what's the plan for today? <laughs> So 
this is the mini grocery haul. I just got some organic chicken broth and then some basil and tomatoes for tonight's soup, which I'm so excited for, but I will make it together with you guys so you guys can see the recipe, but I'm so excited. So me and Madison stopped at HomeSense and Marshall's and I found these adorable gingerbread mugs and I just couldn't pass them up because I know that when I go Christmas decor shopping, they're not gonna be there anymore. So I just had to get them on the spot. But oh my goodness, I'm so obsessed. And I was just saying to Madison how I wanted a cute mug set for me and Joel. And then I came across these. So I just like could not resist them. And they're just brown all the way around. They were only $6 each, which is so cheap. Like how cute. And they were the last two left. Yeah, I couldn't resist. This is just getting me so excited for Christmas. And I just need to really plan out like how I'm going to decorate my house. I don't want it to look chuggy or anything. So I really want to make sure that I'm color coordinating everything. But... This is a great start and I'm just in love with these. They just kind of stack like that. How adorable. So I did get one thing from the mall at H&M. I really wanted just to find a gray, like longer long sleeve and they didn't have any in stock at Aritzia. So I was kind of disappointed, but I did find one at H&M and it was only $12 and it's their line where it's like made out of recycled cotton. So it's like, okay, can't be that bad. But this is just a long sleeve and I already have a great long sleeve, but it's cropped and I wanted to get one that was more full length because I'm just like a fiend for tight long sleeves and I wear them all the time. Anyways, I found this one and she is longer than my other one, which is nice. So I could wear it with like low waisted stuff. But yeah, that's all that I got from the mall. That's my little mini shopping haul. So before I make dinner, me and Joel are just about to go on a nice daily walk because it is so beautiful outside. It was literally raining this morning, but the sun came out to play. So we're gonna go on a nice walk and I just got bundles and cozy. So yeah, I'm gonna put on my Uggs and we're gonna go on a nice long November walk. I love tucking my hair in my jacket. I don't know why, it just makes me feel so much cozier. tomatoes and i'm just going to cut them in half i think i'm going to probably use them all so i feel like this will be a good amount i'm not really following a recipe but i'm just going to cut them i think lengthwise and then have them face up you guys my dad gave me garlic from his garden and look how much he gave me I can't wait to use this in the soup because it's gonna be so good and look at how big they are like the cloves are like this big it's crazy so I think I'm gonna put probably just one is good enough because they're huge um, to roast on the pan with the tomatoes I think I'm just gonna put one onion like a whole one I think that'll be good enough And I'm just gonna kind of like peel it and put in like those slices like that. Okay, so now I have everything on the tray and I'm just gonna drizzle it with olive oil. I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second. And I'm gonna also add some fresh basil. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. For spices, I'm gonna put some Celtic salt. This is coarse salt, but I feel like it's perfect. And you can always like add later. And then I'm gonna put some oregano. And then I'm just gonna put some dill. Here is how it turned out. I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees right now and I'm gonna put it in for around 50 minutes to an hour. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. I'm so excited, it looks amazing. So I just did onions, garlic, um, basil, tomatoes obviously, and then spices. And then don't forget to drizzle with olive oil. The tomatoes just got out of the oven. It smells so good. I'm just gonna transfer them to my blender now and then I'm going to add the chicken broth. I don't know how much, probably this whole thing, but we'll see how much fits and then just go from there. I'm gonna transfer for this with like a spatula and then blend it. So here's how the soup turned out, you guys. It is so good. I just put coconut cream in it 
to make it look nice and also to mix it in to make it more creamy and i have some gluten-free bread toasting joel has sourdough and it's so cozy and so healthy and it's so easy to make 10 out of 10 would recommend that's it yeah <laughs> So we're just about to leave the house, but I wanted to show you my outfit So I just have on this hat from Maritzia. My coat is from garage and then this is the long sleeve that I got yesterday And as for my pants, I am wearing garage cargos. They're so cute. I'm obsessed with them and yeah, just a cute little casual fit um, It's not raining today. Thankfully, so I don't need a hood or anything I will update you guys on what we're doing in the car But yeah, it's still chilly, but I feel like this is like a perfect outfit for a non rainy chilly day in November And I don't know why but like blue reminds me of November. I think it's because it's like snowy and icy I don't know why so I decided to put the blue hat on today, but anyways, let's go leave the house We're doing something exciting today and finally doing progress in the house. So let's go We are driving to Ikea right now because we are going to get a bed frame and also some white, like a, I want a white duvet cover for the bed because I kind of want to redo the bedding and I bought some sheets off of Amazon this week so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a haul when I get home but we're finally getting a bed frame and I'm just so excited because I've just put this off for so long now and I'm also going to see what kind of curtains ikea has because they have the ones that i originally wanted back in stock so i'm just gonna check them out but yeah we're finally making progress in the house it's been a while since i've done anything but i feel like this is just like the way it goes it goes in phases but i've just been wanting a bed frame for so long now so we're finally gonna get one and set it up tonight and make the room more of a vibe because the room our bedroom is just not done at all so i'm really really excited so keep you guys updated Ikea and we're just debating between getting this one or this one this one's a little bit softer but we think that the other one looks more expensive and this one looks more cheap so keep you updated yeah those were fire oh my gosh they already have their Christmas decor setting the holiday vibe already oh my god so cute the Christmas trees are already out to play look at how cute they look at these cute little mats Ikea kind of goes hard with the Christmas decorations. I didn't even know they had this whole section. That was so successful. I'll show you guys a little haul when we get home. But we secured the bed sheets and they're gonna look so cute. Like I'm so excited for bedtime tonight. It's gonna be so cozy. So we just got back from Ikea. The bed frame is still in the car, so we're gonna set it up soon. But I just wanna put the sheets in the washer first. So the first thing we got is the Angslila. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea how to pronounce this. But this is the duvet cover. We ended up going with this one. It just looks more expensive than the other one. 
I'm gonna toss this in the wash and then I got these really cute bed sheets off of Amazon. I will have them linked down below and I'm gonna wash these as well. This print just reminds me of November and like winter because of the blue so I just feel like it's gonna fit the vibe and yeah I'm gonna toss these in the wash now and then we're gonna set up the bed frame. We were originally gonna get a soft frame bed frame which is basically like the cloud frame dupes if you guys don't know what I'm talking about but we didn't end up going with that one because we want to upgrade to a king bed soon or eventually like when we have like a bigger bedroom or bigger house so the soft frame bed frame and Canadian plus shipping and everything would equal almost like two thousand dollars so I was like there's no point of us spending two thousand dollars on a queen bed frame when we're gonna want to upgrade to a king like as soon as we can so for now we're just sticking with like a cheaper bed frame just because we know we're gonna upgrade in the future and then the queen bed frame that we have could just be like in the guest room as a queen bed and then we can get our actual like dream bed frame as a king whenever we have like the space for it because our room is still kind of small for a king but this is the bed frame that we ended up getting the ikea song stand bed frame and this is the same bed frame that we had in portugal at the airbnb we stayed out for a few months i didn't even realize it until after buying it but i think that it's so cute and it just like fits the vibe of the room and it's gonna do the job and i still really like it so it's funny because we did this in our last place too we waited like a few months to get a bed frame and i don't know why this has been like a trend now it's been like a few months and we're finally getting a bed frame i don't know since we have the mattress it's not like you like urgently need a bed frame so it's something that i procrastinated but having a bed frame versus not having a bed frame is just so different i just hate the bed being on the floor i know it's such like a first world problem but i'm just really excited to have a bed frame it just feels more cozy the room just feels more done and finished you know what i mean it doesn't feel like there's just a mattress on the floor so i'm just really grateful that we finally have one anyways let's throw these sheets in the washer and get the bed frame set up we have to bring like all the pieces and stuff up the stairs so that's a little bit annoying but hopefully we can finish it by five it's currently 3 20 so hopefully so before I forget, I just wanted to show you guys a before of the bed on the floor. And I've had these pink floral sheets for a while now. I honestly really, really love them, but I'm just kind of sick of them and I just want to change. So these are going to be going in storage. Also, I love the cream bedding, but like I said, I just want to change. So I'm excited to switch the vibe up, but this is the before. <laughs> I mean, like, I really like the farmhouse aesthetic, and I like modern. I like them mixed together, but I think this is, like, perfect for, you know, what we want right now. Just go here. Okay, well, we just want to make sure we like where it's at, maybe. Oh, well, your side's way really lopsided. Well, put it against the wall, so, like, put your fingers behind, right. just so it doesn't dent the wall. Yeah, it's not touching the wall. Wait, we should move it more my way, though. It's so off-center. Okay. Does it look back? Mm, a little bit more my way. Keep in mind that your thing isn't perfectly. I think it's still like, like look at the wall, Joel. I think that's center everything to the wall. That looks very centered to the wall. The bed is made, the mattress is on, and we are just waiting for the sheets to dry. They still have about an hour on them, so we're not gonna get to the sheet reveal for another hour, but so excited. It already feels so much better having a nice bed frame in here. And now we just need to like finish kind of decorating the room because there's nothing in here. So that's gonna be another project in itself. I wanna put like curtains. Yeah, maybe in next week's vlog, so stay tuned for that. I did a poll on my Instagram and I asked you guys when you set up your Christmas trees in November or December, and I have the results. 36% of people said November, and 64% said December. So if you set up your Christmas tree in November, you're in the minority like me, which is pretty funny, but I guess December is a more typical month for people to set up their Christmas tree, so it makes sense. But I kind of thought the number for November would be a little bit higher. Anyways, 
regardless i'm gonna set up my tree probably next week i don't know no promises but let me know if you would still watch a christmas decoration video next sunday let me know if you would click on that and actually want to watch it or if it's like way too soon because i can always postpone it to the week later so let me know what you guys think on about that but yeah tonight me and joel are gonna just have a movie night we do friday night date nights we just kind of pick up food and watch a movie together or like a tv series and we just like spend some time together whatever like we do so tonight we're doing a movie night and it's just like our little date night that we do every friday anyways yeah so i will update you guys on the bed sheets when they're out but i'm just like so excited it's gonna be like the best sleep tonight in a new bed frame and new sheets can't compare to fresh sheets but anyways okay i'll update you guys in a bit okay guys sheets just came out of the dryer we're gonna put everything together and then make the bed <laughs> Okay, so here's how the bedding turned out. I'm in love with the blue floral bed sheets. I'll have them linked down below. And also have this duvet link down below because it's so nice. Look at how cozy and comfy our bed looks now. I couldn't be happier. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to sleep in it tonight. Mm -hmm. 